So Michael Bay's new film Ambulance just released, and he took a shot, but he missed it. Oh! I switched it! Oh! So Ambulance is a new movie from the auteur filmmaker Michael Bay. It stars Jake Gyllenhaal as Daniel Sharp and Yeah Yeah Abdul Mateen II as his brother Will Sharp. And the concept is fairly simple. Will is down on his luck and needs some money so he goes to his brother Daniel for some help. Daniel convinces him to go on a bank robbery heist with him that he's been planning. But then things go to shit so they hijack an ambulance with an injured cop and EMT in the back. Played by Ezen Gonzalez. They use them as hostages as they lead the police on a car chase all over LA trying to think of a way to shake them. And after experiencing I can proudly say Bayhem is back on the menu boys. <laughs> and Badelands. This movie was just about everything I thought it was going to be. I went in knowing that it's a Michael Bay film, and I was into it. We got lots of action, lots of explosions, lots of slow-mo. It basically has all the Michael Bayisms that you expected, except not so much sexual humor. It's more so replaced with just awkward attempts at humor. But they're so awkward and weird that it comes back around and starts to be kind of funny again in a strange way. It made me cringe a few times, but I was chuckling while I did it, so that's a plus. I definitely enjoyed it and found it to be a blast. The strongest aspect of the movie is easily Will and Danny's relationship. I think both Jake Gyllenhaal and Yahya Abdul Mateen II were good in their respective roles as brothers, and they worked great together. They bounced off each other very well, and they actually feel really close. Will is more the straight man, and he only took the job because he needed the money to help his family. And Danny is the career criminal who's just not all there. He gets more and more unhinged as the movie progresses. So yeah, it's an over-the-top performance from Jake Gyllenhaal, and it's pretty amazing. I seriously love seeing him lose it. It's similar to how he was towards the end of Spider-Man Far From Home, and I just love seeing that. So Will is the straight man to counterbalance Danny's unhinged behavior. They're there to basically bounce each other out. And I thought they were great, and they really carried the movie. And Isaac and Gonzalez thought she was pretty good too. Now this being a Michael Bay film, of course there's a lot of action and how was it? It's pretty chaotic, but at the same time, it's pretty damn awesome. I'm surprised that they shot most of this practically and crashed all these damn cars. There's a shit ton of vehicles crashing, smashing, flipping, and later on, exploding. And of course there's some shootouts and even though it's hectic, it has a shit ton of quick cuts, I don't think it ever got too out of control or as crazy as the stuff that you see in Six Underground. I feel it's way more grounded than most of the stuff in that movie, but still pretty chaotic. And on top of all the stuff that you expect to see, Michael Bay decided to throw in a bunch of drone shots which are kind of cool. So you get these shots sweeping up and down and across buildings, circling around and under cars as they're crashing and jumping and ramming into stuff. And all that is pretty cool, but it starts to feel a little overused. And I'll give the movie credit, there are a few times where it finds interesting ways to keep the tension high to really spice up this nearly two hour car chase. So the action, pretty damn fun, albeit hectic as hell at times. Again, okay, some of the small that I liked were references to other Michael Bay movies like Bad Boys and The Rock. It was a small thing that I thought was funny. Now, like I said earlier, even though I knew what I was getting into, that doesn't mean there aren't some issues. And there's things that I expected to see, but others might not, so I'll mention that stuff now. Really, the main issue is the runtime. It's actually fairly long considering how simple the concept is, and it hits a point where it just starts to drag. It's around 2 hours and 15 minutes, and the first hour just flies by. Hell, within the first 10 to 15 minutes of the movie, Will approaches Danny for help, and then they're already robbing the bank, and then hijacking the ambulance, and the rest of the movie is just a 2 hour car chase. But there's a lot of stuff here that could have been cut down or tightened up to save some time. Like, this is scene where the EMT has to perform surgery on the cop, so they cut him open and they get a bullet out of him, while she's on FaceTime with her boyfriend doctor and a few surgeon friends. And Will is also helping out. And I thought it was kind of interesting, but I don't really feel like it was necessary. And they could trim down several of the shootouts and action scenes, then I had them going for so long, and to keep it more focused. I feel like this movie would have been better if it was under two hours. It's kind of funny, the movie wastes no time setting up everything, and in typical Michael Bay fashion, after the climax it quickly wraps everything up in the last five minutes, and then the movie just ends. I already mentioned the humor, and yeah, it's awkward and kind of cringe, but I also want to mention that of course it's injected in the middle of or right after a serious scene and just throws the whole tone out of whack, so that can be a bit annoying. I personally found some of this stuff amusing just because of how awkward and weird it was. And the last thing I'll mention is the side characters. There are several here and I couldn't tell you their names. They aren't that great and are just here because it's showing the police perspective of the chase, and there's also another criminal that helps Danny, and a few others but I don't remember that much about them honestly. And hell, one of them is an FBI agent that feels mostly useless, and the things that he does in the movie could have easily been given to an already existing side character. So really, everyone outside of Will, Danny, and EMT are mostly forgettable. And that's really about it. I found it to be overall a blast and at times ridiculously fun. Now, I've said before in previous videos I did about Michael Bay that I enjoy a lot of his movies, and he himself as a filmmaker kind of impresses me because he's a guy who knows what he likes and just does it. If you think he'll look cool on screen, then he's doing it. Mostly all of his movies are non-stop roller coasters, and this one's no different. Yeah, his style isn't highbrow or artsy. It's loud, in your face, and over the top. So if you know what you're getting into, then I think you'll really enjoy this movie. Or hell, even if you don't know what to expect, you'll still probably 
probably enjoy it just because there's a whole lot of action with two leads who are pretty good and entertaining. Hell, my friend didn't know what kind of movie I dragged him into, and he enjoyed it. He was also a little high, so I think that helps. We smoke some blunts, we smoke the blunts, rolling blunts. If I had to compare it to his last movie, Six Underground, I would say it's not as ridiculous and crazy and over the top as that movie is with its action and characters and humor, and instead it tries to be a bit more grounded. Or I guess, as grounded as a giant chaotic police chase around LA can be. I actually prefer this over Six Underground, because it's a simple movie with a simple concept, and it's just Michael Bay doing what he does best. So if you're game for that, I'd definitely say check it out, because you're going to be in for a fun ride full of guns, shootouts, car crashes, and cringe humor. That's going to do it for the video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, go and drop a like on it. And leave a comment. Let me know. What do you think about Ambulance? Is this Michael Bay's best movie? Is this Bay him at his finest? Leave a comment. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Bro, are you high? Let me check. Yes. High on American spirit. Oh, alright. Can I practice on your girlfriend? She's my sister.